Hey everyone, my name's Xavier and welcome to Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. This is a turn-based strategy game just like XCOM, except uh, you have a real-time exploration phase when you're not doing the battles. You can set up ambushes and whatnot in a similar but very different way to XCOM 2. Uh, it is, in my opinion, fantastic graphics, very good writing, voice acting, very interesting. I've played for 30 minutes so far, and I'm really looking forward to playing more. Very, very, very much more, actually. The game comes out on the 4th of December. It's currently the 30th as I record this. Uh, I'm going to put out as many videos as I can between now and then. And if you find that you do like the game, there's a link in the description down below where you can pick it up and help support my channel uh, while you're doing that. I very much appreciate everyone who does that. Thank you very much for allowing me to play a million turn-based strategy games. Just endless, endless, endless amounts of it. Uh, that being said, let's jump into this. Let's go for very hard, of course, because I am extremely experienced with tactical games. Uh, and so much so I don't really want to even admit how many hours I've spent playing them. But enemies deal more damage. We cannot regenerate. We're called stalkers. And skill cooldowns are not reset after combat. All right, easy enough. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before prep closes for the night. Mm. It just looks so beautiful. Look at the bird up there. Oh, speaking of, new location, the metal bird. There's a bird right up here on top of this, uh, like, satellite area. Game looks beautiful. Really like it. I know I don't usually like mutants, uh, the mutant genre, but if a game's good, it can push me right past that natural dislike, like uh, Phoenix Point. Not a huge fan of that aesthetic, but hey, the gameplay's great, so I like the game. Trust me, I'm not annoying. This is very similar. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Trust me. annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. It's just showing us the places that we can go. Not a whole lot to do here. Turn to the arc. All right. You know what? Before we do that, let's take a look at the screen here. So on the top left, we have our characters. On the top right, we have our inventory. It looks like we've got one med kit, 46 scrap, zero artifacts. And I don't know what the last one is yet. Uh, if I hit I here, we can see this is Borman. He's a pretty cool looking guy. He's got eight health, 12 movement, zero armor, 10th row. He's using a scattered gun, which is like a shotgun. Kind of a close range. Hits for five, crits for eight. Uh, the Stinger here is like a pistol secondary. He also has a Molotov, which lights things on fire. That's pretty cool, actually. A very cool. Uh, and then over here, we got Ducks. He uses a silent crossbow. He's got a smoke grenade. And this is one of the greatest things. I was so excited when I had seen this the first time. Blocks line of sight. That's what a smoke grenade is supposed to do. And that's how it actually works in this game. That's fantastic. It also puts out fire, which is pretty cool. The viability of this, tactically speaking, I'm very excited about it. Um, here's our squad. This, well, we already went over that, basically. There's only two people. Here's our mutations. Mutations are either major, minor, or passive. Only one of each can be set in your loadout. Stat bonuses are permanent and are always applied regardless of loadout. Okay, your loadout can be changed in the inventory at any time. So what they're saying here is, this is a minor mutation. This is minor. This is major. This is minor. This is passive. Passive, major, passive. So we can only have one major, one minor, end one. Look at this moth wings. Allows you to fly. That's super cool. You can only have one of each of these. I think we can get all the stats, though. And then over here on Borman, he's like your typical assault from XCOM. If I could click on him. There we go. He's got run and gun. Enables action after sprinting and a bunch of other stuff. Joker draws attention. Anywho, uh, let's get the show on the road. 
Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Trebo. They're close! 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 Over there! Come, brother! I'm on their trail! Mm, I'm gonna hide right here. I really do like this, so I'm setting this up in real time. You can see I right-click to hide, right-click to unhide, move around. Oh, the graphics are beautiful. I have to say, when I first saw this game, I wasn't too interested in it, but after playing it for 30 minutes, whoo, I am hooked to it. Anyway, we're going to wait for that guy to come back, because I'm pretty sure he's going to walk right over here eventually. Oh, there he is. He's coming from a different direction. Let's go here, then. Yeah, you can see there's vision ranges overlapping. And good enough for an ambush, I think. Tactical combat. Combat is turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points. Yep. Some actions end the turn, just like XCOM. Very familiar. Now, we can choose to individually activate each character, unlike in um, XCOM 2, where everyone's revealed right away. We're just going to activate ducks here. Hold Q to rotate the camera. I don't know why you have to hold Q and then move the mouse to rotate. Why not just Q and E like, you know, every game in the universe? I'm not sure I understand that one, but other than that, 100% crossbow on ducks. We do four damage. He's got four hit points. This should be a completely silent kill. Ooh, right in the left shoulder. Damn, I'm good. I'm pretty sure they watched my videos when they made this game and just modeled this guy after me. Because he is like a duck version of me. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not even sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I like how the the radius is, like, z increase. Like, they're looking around a little bit. It makes everything feel alive. In any event, let's get closer. Let's just fire up. Low cover grants 25% bonus while in cover. Or 25% bonus. Full cover is 75. Now, that's huge. I think XCOM by default is like 2535 or something. Flanking cancels it, but unlike in XCOM, there is no step out. You actually have to be fully flanking, which is a little bit weird. Uh, we could just shoot him from here, but you know what? Who cares? Let's move right into his face. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you see us, don't you? But guess what? 100%. Nighty night. Love this duck. I love him. Ooh, we got a Broiler 50, a weapon mod. One additional crit damage, 50% chance to burn enemies. Never what? seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Foreman. Let me put that on, please. Let me put it on. Any game with fires, I like that's it. A, that's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Hey, I'm one of those agents, you little duck. So I do have a couple of complaints about this game. Uh, one, I, I like like 99% of it, but one, they really need to add a mouse sensitivity slider because playing at 4K, I'm moving the mouse about a millimeter and it is moving like really far on the screen. I need to adjust the sensitivity. But there's no slider. And the other thing is the Q and E keys. Ooh, here we go. I don't um I don't know why they don't just rotate the camera like normal, but Holden. Ghouls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay. Here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. Red skulls. Enemies with a red skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Very matter of fact. Avoid red skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. How do I get that loot though? I really want it. I will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die. Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? 
Arcs don't even love stalkers. <laughs> Base is too ugly to even beat. Wow. Marauder 55, tank level 55. I don't I don't know if there's a way to Ooh, there's actually two things over there. Maybe I could throw a grenade to distract them or something, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. For the purposes of I need to record and get the video out like right now. Otherwise I would probably sit here and try to figure out how to do that. All right, so that was the metal bird. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Look at that cabin. It's crazy. A campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Wow. Really cool. I walk up there and a bunch of birds scattered away from the skeletons. I also really like the way that they highlight things with these little um, fuzzies. It makes it clear what you need to do so you don't spend the entire time looking around, but at the same time, it doesn't break the immersion. Like, hey, here's the thing. Like in a lot of other games like Divinity, you hit the tab or whatever and everything's highlighted with an orange thick bold outline like that's a little immersion breaking they did a really good job with that you can use a med kit at any time to heal your stalkers in combat healing outside of combat always refuels you to full health or refills you is it worth running around over there i don't think so this is sad a couple of people died they had all their camp gear here and everything a little tent it's a nice place outside of the corpses There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. <laughs> they, they had to have seen my videos when, when modeling this duck character. So we run in? Guns blazing? If you are undetected, you can scope out enemy positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. You can tip the balance of a fight into your favor by reducing overall enemy numbers. All right. Well, fine. We'll do that. But I mean, like you ducks, I just want to run in, guns blazing. Let's be smart about it, though. Let's demo what this game has to offer. I do love the cutscenes as well. They're beautiful. Hungry. Oh. Hungry. I guess we take the arc. Tasty mutants. <laughs> love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their... Hey, hey! You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry! Mm. Kill! <laughs> hear my stomach. I also like how they highlight. That's an artifact over there, and it's highlighted purple. Really fantastic. Now, since I've already played this, I know the guy's gonna come over here. So we'll just set up a little ambush. Here's the gapper. Can destroy covers and also knocks back enemies. Boy, that looks cool. This gas-powered cannon, humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver, launches fat, chunky shells. If the gapper loses in subtlety, it gains back in power. All right, let's yoink that. And let's set up an ambush. Oh, there he is. He's coming over now. Let's set up an ambush right here. This is so much more of an involved um, sneaking system than XCOM 2. I just feel more engaged by it. He gets close enough. Let's go. I'm just going to activate only ducks here. We're going to, of course, go for a silent crossbow shot 100% because we waited for him to get really close. And bolts ahoy, friends. <laughs> yes, that's right, ducks. Oh, indeed. So satisfying. When your stalker team levels up, each mutant gains mutation points. Mutant mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations or to improve your stalker stats, such as health or movement range. This is amazing. That's super cool. Let's hit C and go level up. Do I want to do the skull splitter? 
Um, I guess there's a 100% chance to crit, but if we use the pistol, actually, yes. Okay, let's do that. We'll spend our one point here for the skull splitter. I'm gonna watch ducks do flip out. Yeah. And then, of course, over here. I'm going to save the point on Borman because I want to get a run and gun. Over here. Oh, I just hit F to call Borman. Luckily, when he's hiding, he won't uh, He won't come over. I hit F. Let's go find a good place here. Now, I'm pretty sure even when you have your light open, all that does is increase their range. They don't immediately see you. Increases their view range. Yeah. Ooh, look how big that view range is. Shut the light off. It goes way down. Um, I would like to kill the hunter, actually, with a crit, with a pistol, because the crossbow only crits for five. So, oh, here's a broken gun. That's not going to work. You know what? Actually, if I activate with Borman, I could probably run out here with a pistol and use that, that perk. Let's do that. Let's hide in this bush. Ooh, look at that. Come on, buddy. Stop paying attention. I got places to be and things to do. I know you don't always see this far. Start yapping about your stomach again, friend. Right? I... Now that's interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, I was able to do it. Not quite the way I was expecting, but it worked. I want to get over here and... Oh, so close. So close. Don't see me. Ooh, well, they saw me. I tried to sneak in, but... I found him! I found him! Get the fat one! As <laughs> good as dead! Get the fat one! Oh, boy! Kill they you! They get to move and shoot. Oh no, Borman, no! Ah! Ooh. Move close and use a med kit to save them within the indicated. Wow. I. All of that. So you, you get a huge penalty if you get spotted. Crazy. Super crazy. So let's switch to the pistol here. I want to take this guy down in one single shot. We're going to walk out here. I want to make sure it's a 100% chance to... Oh, is it telling me how much my chance to hit? Oh, from right there, 100%. Okay, so let's move over here with our first action point. We'll get cover. Rotate the camera around a smidgey. Let's go for skull... Now it says 75. I guess I was wrong about that. Oh, no, I was right. It's a 100% chance to hit, but skull splitter reduces it by 25%. To give you the 100% to crit. If we do crit, we kill him. Alright, well, we're going to need to do this, and we need to do it now. For the love of God, ducks, don't miss! Mutation cooldowns. Some mutations lock once used and require a set number of kills to unlock. That's actually incredible. So once we use this ability, we're going to have to get a couple more kills to unlock it. That's a great, great way uh, to have cooldowns not be overpowered and not just involve you spamming Overwatch in a corner till everything resets. Beautiful. Come on, ducks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Beautiful work. This guy moves over. He goes into Overwatch. Um. Unfortunately, I don't have much time because Borman's bleeding out. Ooh. Hey, here's a good opportunity to demo our smoke grenade. What if I th just throw this on the guy's face? Well, that ends the turn, though. Uh, it's not going to work for me because I got to get out there and then use the thing next turn to heal him. So we can run. I can try to... I, I don't I actually have to just run to him, so... Uh, this is incredibly unfortunate. We're going to get hit twice by this guy, but... Woo! Right under the chin! Plus, we're now easily flankable. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay, Borman. We're not going to let you... You're not going to let you bleed out. 
Let's get over here. Oh my lord. All right, Borman. Up and at him, soldier. Why did I move over there? That's weird. Matter. All right, and now, interestingly enough, you get resurrected. You don't just get stabilized. You get resurrected, and you get resurrected with all your action points. Okay, so Borman can move up here and take this guy down very likely. Oh, yes, he can. Well, stay down. <laughs> not so bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Well, technically terrible. Because the first time I did this, I had no problem, killed everybody, zero issues. This time, I got spotted. I didn't quite realize that spotting range when I would get spotted. That was the first time I've ever been spotted in this game. I didn't realize that they would immediately both get to go. So you need to not be risky with that. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to hide right there with Borman. But now I know. We've got two med kits remaining, and both of our characters are one-shottable at this point. So, this is not good. We collected an artifact, the boom box. Use artifacts to buy upgrades on the Look arc. Look at this right. beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. The boom box. Of course, the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. Why does the Elder say that, I wonder? It's almost as if they're foreshadowing something. Oh, level 25 down in the south. Okay. I cannot wait to get up there. 
home, sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Dark outskirts. What is this now? Gotzeburg Engfred. Eng Engred? I'm not sure. Is this the game that's based on real life Whoa. locations? Oh, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. I think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. Remember, I was reading something about um, some games based on real life locations and people are figuring out like where they are. Box That's pretty go, cool if it's this one. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Mutants in the ark. Too many, too many. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all! The fox is coming. We kill them all. Ooh. Stalker Clara note. It's a crying shame with this butter. Delta would have surely given us the discount she mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within the scrap ruins. So east of the Iron Serpent in the scrap ruins. There was one of these devices for burning things together or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without a cloud above it. Them ghouls who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us away before we could recover it. Stalker Clara. All right, well, we got some notes. Valuable scrap. Ooh, a little chest. What do we get? I love how they make you watch the opening of it. We got a visor? A snazzy visor? 25% added to weapon range? Are you gotta be kidding me? This is like full Howard the Duck. Can I put it on? Outfit. Yes! 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 This is incredible. Oh, good lord. Hey, maybe I should um level up Borman. Did he get his second? He did. He's got run and gun. Let's, let's buy it. Beautiful. And you know what? We'll go for that health point over here on ducks as well. Because I'm a little bit lower. All right. Well, these guys want to invade our elevator. Okay, spread out. Ooh, can we come up here? Yes. Interesting. Not that this is helping me at all right now, but just cool that it exists. Can I just walk off? Yep. Okay, no problem. There's a giant ship. I'm gonna scout around and figure out what's up here first. You coming? Call Borman over. What is this? Okay, I don't want to be caught by running like a guy comes around a corner or something. So I'm gonna shut the light off. Hide. This is the elevator. So this is where we need to go. Wow, that's some bright light. But there were a number of these guys back here. I think we want to clear them up. I don't think I necessarily have to. Oh, up on the top, there's a mini-map, and I see four enemies. Oh, not a mini-map, a radar. Oh, ooh, ooh, there we go. Okay, so one over there. One over here. Let's see if we can't take this guy out silently. Hide there. Let's see where we can put Borman. Maybe closer to this one to get ready. Okay, he's leaving. There's some loot. More broken guns. Yeah, I can see two guys. Those are the two originals and there's two additionals. Okay, let's hide here. Let's come back. Looks like we're not going to have everything I want exactly. But I'm going to ambush from here. I've not been spotted. It's only a 75%, but hey. Come on, ducks. You got this, buddy. Slimely. <laughs> Beautiful. Another one bites the ducks. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh god. That guy is so close to seeing his friend's corpse, but the tree I think is reducing it. Beautiful. 
How close can I get here? Pretty close. Wow, that worked. But I rolled a 25%, it would have been really bad, but... Can I get to this tree? That's where I want to be, right here. Oh, I barely got in there. Let's go for the ambush. He's really far from the other one. Activate up. 75% second time's a charm, ducks. You got this, buddy. Wow. Critical hit. Not that it mattered. So good. Yeah. This this duck. This is this duck is like a human ver or a duck version of me. A human version of me, I said. Alright, well. Where did the last two go? I can see them up here on the um there we go. The compass on the top. Let's tie it over there. And figure out... Oh, those are weapon parts. That's the last thing in the top, right? So it's uh, scrap, artifacts, medkits, weapon parts. Hmm. So my best bet here is going to be to kill the butcher for five, because he has four hit points. Then we use ducks to get really close to the, the hunter and shoot him with the pistol uh, for a 100% chance to crit in his face. So... If I ambush them, maybe I should just... Is this a log that I can hide behind? Yes. That's not really where I wanted to ambush from. I'm scared that he's going to see me because he's flanking me, so I'm just going to go right now. Let's activate Borman. We only have a 75%, but hey... Oh! Another option we could do is just move. We'll alert new unit. That's fine by me. Let's move up there. Hey, guys. Yeah, you see me, don't you? However, now I've got 100% to shoot. Rock and roll. He's dead. We've lost one now, huh? Okay, now let's, let's activate over here with ducks. I see. Now let's get really close with our first, first movement. Let's see if I can't guarantee... Ducks was caught sneaking. Okay, well, that just tells us that he sees us. Let's see if I can get really close with the pistol and go for the... Well, I can do it. 100% uh, to crit, but it's only a 75% chance to hit. However, if we hit it, he's dead. All right, ducks. Rock and roll. <laughs> oh, you did it, kid. <laughs> oh, boy. This is the game for me. This is the game for me. Ancient Sight, plus 20% added to weapon range. Scope. Okay. Nice. And there we go. So let's get Borman. Um, sorry, let's get Borman out of hiding. Call ducks over. Get the light out because we don't need to be sneakies anymore. I love that they're highlighting that um, chest over here from far away. Uh, here's another little fuzzy. Wait here. Hey, over here. What do we got? I got this one. Ooh. Stalker vest. One armor, two hit points. Hell yeah. I don't want to jump the gun or anything because it's really early in the in this game. Follow me. But so far, I love it. Like, I really am enjoying this game a lot. Way more than I was expecting. Um, where am I, though? I'm completely lost. <laughs> Hold down Q, and we can see... Oh, right here is where we need to go. Into the elevator. The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The L 
Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. I can't wait to play more. Oh boy. Are we at the Ark now? Chain lightning can bounce between close targets better than... Uh. I just can't read those fast enough. Oh, Iridia's Prince Place, Delta's Fix Pit. New location, the Ark. You, there's the Elder. All right. I think that's going to be it for this episode, but I'm going to go record another one right now. Well, I'm not even going to wait. Uh, we're just going to play a whole bunch of these as fast as possible because this is incredibly fun. I do have the entire game unlocked now, uh, so I want to play as much as I can between now and Tuesday when it releases. And that's not going to be much because I got the long war stream tomorrow. But anyway, if you enjoyed uh, the episode, remember to hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to pick up the game for yourself, link in the description down below where you can grab it and support the channel in doing so. In any event, that's been uh, the first episode of Mutant Gear Zero Road to Eden. I love it. I, I, was, I wasn't that interested, to be honest. But now that I've played it for like 30 minutes, I... Cannot wait to play more. Super into it. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Go for the swell. I can do it. 100% uh, to crit, but it's only a 75% chance to hit. However, if we hit it, he's dead. All right, ducks. Rock and roll. <laughs> oh, boy. This is the game for me.